Hey, what is going on today, guys? Bojo here, back again to do another NHL 18 Hockey Ultimate Team Pack Opening, number three of the year. The last pack opening we did was a pretty big one. It was a doozy, to say the least. We pulled an amazing card. Make sure you guys go down below to the link in the description and check out that video if you missed it. Spoilers, it's, 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 it's the best base card in game when the game came out. But today we're going to be doing a little bit of a mini hunt here. We're hopefully going to get four flashback collectibles in today's video in order to turn them in to do this set for the 90 overall flashback Saku Koivu from 1999 when he was a part of the Montreal Canadiens. So the flashbacks now are now in, um, and they are in hut. They're in the sets. I'm not sure if you can pull them in packs. You might be able to, but it could be a set only card. But hopefully we'll be able to get four collectibles and I can do that set because I really want to start doing sets and getting some better players to upgrade my team. But like I said, the flashbacks are out. We got the mini collector pack. I picked up one of them, but I mainly just focused in on gold pluses for today. Three new legends once again. We got uh, Martin St. Louis, uh, uh, Hatcher, who is it? Is his first name Kevin? It might be Kevin Hatcher. And then... Uh, Ruchin or Ruchin? I have no idea who any of the, the other two guys are off the top of my head. I know. Kill me, I'm a hockey fan, but still. I know who Martin St. Louis is, but the other two guys, not all too much. Not really familiar with their names. We have a Jerry McCann primetime card out right now. We still have the Wierenski and the Jake Genzel Evolution cards out. And uh, those ho uh, on Hockey 100s. But, as I mentioned, I focused mainly on all Gold Plus packs. We have 22 of them, and we have one Mini Collector's pack just for some players. So you know what, I'm gonna get that players pack out of the way to start. Let's open this one right from the get-go. This is only going to be players. So we have six gold players and then like a couple bronzes and silvers in here as well. So hopefully we'll be able to get a nice little pull here, hopefully upper 80s, starting off with a couple 84s, 85s, which is not bad. Uh, Joe Gordon, 85. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on with my pack luck? Last video I pulled Crosby, spoilers, and now I pull McDavid? <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Corey Crawford, Connor McDavid, what is going on? I didn't get excited as I did last time because I didn't expect that one because it was Crosby, but dude, McDavid, he's got speedsters. What does his stats look like? His stats are amazing. I mean, he's got like 96 speed. It's ridiculous. Oh man, that's ridiculous. All right. All right, let's start cracking through these now. Here we go. Let's do a couple just regular ones because apparently that's the way you got to do it to get the really good pulls is pull, you know, just open these packs as normal and you'll get pretty decent pulls. Jeff Carter is an 86 is not too bad either. He actually will probably make it onto my team if he has a good synergy. Yeah, I think somebody on my forward core has sh uh, shoot first or whatever that is. Uh, Andy Mack, there he is. Uh, okay, so we got an 86. We got a team of the week collectible. That's not bad. I actually need a couple of those. Mike Hoffman is our other rare and another Corey Crawford. Okay, I'll take that. Any collectibles? Not thin, but I'll take Jeff Carter for sure. All right, let's keep rolling with that. Jeff Carter out of the first pack, which is not too bad. 86, like I said, he'll probably be able to make my team somewhere. Let's do a skip pack. Uh, Oliver Ekman Larson, 86. Now, he will probably make my defensive, my defense core. There's certainly somebody I can switch out for Oliver Ekman Larson. I definitely can make room for him. Uh, Robin Lehner was our other rare, and who's our other one? Jake Muzzin, okay. Not too bad, primetime collectible. I'll definitely hold on to that. Not bad. All right, let's do the pack all the way in the back. Back of the pack luck, as Bacon likes to say. Back of the pack luck. Want to do a player bio for this one? Yeah, let's do a player bio for this one. Morgan Riley. Okay, not too terrible. Not too bad. Uh, we got Trevor Lewis. Tivo Taravainen our other one. Who's our other rare going to be? David Backus. Well, that pack is nothing too fancy whatsoever. But I did get another one of those Stars of the Month collectibles. I'm definitely stocking those up. Um, any other collectibles you guys want to throw at me in this pack? Nope. All right, that pack was a uh, week. All right, let's keep moving right along with these pack Rudies. Like I said, we got a ton to get through, and I think I'm gonna skip another one right here at that screen. Harrison, I'll hold on to him since he's a decent coach. Uh, another prime time collectible. I like those. Chad Johnson, Gustav Lindquist, DC, Jacob Truba, 85. That's not terrible. That's my other rare. Oh. Yeah! Let's 
Let's go, boys! What is with my pack luck as of recently? I gotta open packs more, man. I am so glad I decided to open up packs tonight. Scotty Niedermeyer, let's go! Let's go! Yeah, it's a 92 Niedermeyer! Oh my god, my first legend pull of the year. Holy crap, these packs. Dude, my pack luck has been fire! It's been fire as of recently. Connor McDavid and now Scotty Niedermeyer in this pack opening. My god, dude, let's freaking go! Alright, so Scotty Niedermeyer now follows suit as the highest overall card to pull so far. We have to beat a 92 legend. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, but it's, uh, we're on fire today, boys. We are on fire with the pulls. Uh, Jimmy Howard, and what's my next one? Only an 83, unfortunately, and that is Sammy Vatanen, but still, I'll take it, dude. Freaking Scotty Niedermeyer, what is going on? And McDavid. All right, let's do another uh, back of the pack luck here. Should we do a chair spin? Sure, let's do it. Spin the chair pack. I'm only gonna do one spin today. I'm gonna want to overdo it because we're not overdoing it, and we're pulling amazing cards in today's video. So hopefully, we're gonna continue to get some good pulls of gold collectible. I can always use that. I need carbons, like nobody's business. Uh, we got Kyle Palmieri, Jimmy Howard, and I think that's it, and another Jacob Truba. Any more collectibles? No, we did get a Vegas jersey though. That might sell for a little bit, hopefully. All right, the spin the check pack didn't really work all too well, although I did get a gold collectible. Still no flashback collectibles yet either. I was uh, mainly looking for those in today's video, but I ended up getting Connor McDavid and a legend Scott Niedemeyer instead. So hopefully we will get one of those nice little colorful collectibles in these packs, but it doesn't look like it so far. Another Corey Crawford. I pulled him so much today. Zach Carize, and who's my other rare? It is going to be Tyler Toffoli. All right. Not a bad pack. Pretty bad pack. All right, let's continue to go. Not sure how many packs I have left. I might back out of here and see exactly how many we have left after this opening. But uh, Tuka Rask, not too shabby right there. Uh, we got that, another 83, Jacob Silverberg. And my last one is going to be Philip Forsberg, 85. Okay, not too bad right there, shoot first. Probably won't make my team, but uh, not a bad card. All right, so we still got 13 packs left, not one flashback collectible as of yet in these packs. Come on, gold, gold packs, give me a freaking flashback collectible. All I want is one. That's all I want off of rep right there, Fiddler. Uh, another Stars of the Month collectible, that's always nice. Uh, Milestone, I have a bunch of them as well. And do I get one more rare player? No, I do not. All right, that one, uh, okay, collectibles. Not really what I was looking for, but uh, still collectibles nonetheless. Not even gonna cut away from this that uh, last pack. Let's open up this one now, let's go for it. Quick pack, once again, we'll do a quick pack here. Quick pack, uh, Ryan McDonough, 85, It's not bad. Uh, what else we got here in 84? Kyle Turris, I don't need. Michael Neuwirth, Brock Nelson again, which I've already got. And then, there we go. We finally get one flashback collectible right there for the Memorial Cup. That's interesting. I'm wondering what these are going to go for. Maybe there's going to be another like Flashback Friday every single week, and maybe you're going to need specific flashback collectibles for them. But whatever, we got our first one. We only got three more left to go. Hopefully, we get them in these uh, next couple packs. All right, here we go, guys. Our last 10 gold plus packs here. We're going to do another player bio pack right now. First player we get to, we'll do the player bio screens. Dylan Larkin. Okay, not bad. Uh, let's see. What players do we get in this pack? Ham Hughes, Jane Schwartz, and Jordan Eberle. All right, so hopefully we get some collectible in this pack. Uh, there we go. We got another one. Stanley Cup. So we're two away from that Koivu, guys. Two flashback collectibles away from that Saku Koivu. All right, so we're pulling those flashback collectibles a little bit more frequently now. We got nine packs left to go to get two more. All I need is two more, and I get that 90 overall flashback Koivu. Another skip pack here. Uh, nothing crazy to start that pack. All my rare players pretty much got wasted. And who's my last one? It's an 85. Zach Wierenski. Okay. There. Oh, I just remembered the Evolution Wierenski's out, too, and we pulled the base one. Damn it. Hate that new rule where you can pull both cards in the packs. Ugh, that sucks. Well, we were that close to an evolution, Zach Wierenski. All right, come on, man. Two more of those flashback collectibles. That's all I want. Two more of those flashback collectibles. Do a very slow pack here. Slow pack. Slow it down. Slow it down a bit. Hopefully the luck will be able to 
pop up in this pack. Hasn't shown up since we pulled that Legend in McDavid, but honestly, I really don't care because those two cards were amazing pulls. Chris Kreider, I pulled Canadian Duke. That's fun. And Martin Hansel. Ugh. There we go, though. Slowdown pack did work. We got another um, flashback collectible, so that means we only need one more. And I get that Saku Koivu card, which will be awesome. So I'll take that for sure. One more. All right, guys, we got seven packs left. Our odds to get one flashback collectible in seven packs hopefully will turn out well for us. Like I said, we've pulled like three in the past like five packs, which is awesome. But another team of the week collectible, I can always use that. Matt Zuccarello, Andre Sakara. Uh, who's my other rare player going to be? It is going to be hopefully some other collectible here somewhere in this pack. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Give me another flashback collectible. Uh, anti ranta is that, and then... Ugh, alright. Six packs after this, though. Hopefully we get it. Alright, I think we're gonna break out the no-look nose now. Here we go. Oops, I think one more. Nope. Oh, it's opening. Yep, it's opening. Get the pack, maybe. Fly through it. What do we got? Ooh, I saw something back here. Uh, that's a Team of the Week Tanner Glass. Never mind. That's a, uh, ugh. 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 <laughs> that's a ugh pull. <laughs> For sure. Uh, Victor Arvidsson, that's not bad. Uh, Brock McGinn, Scott Mayfield, Tom Kuhnockle, Franz Nielsen again, Kunitz. Ugh. Come on, game. Don't troll me. Please don't troll me. Ugh, three packs left. I really don't want to buy one. I want to pull one. Come on. One more flashback collectible and I get that sack of Koivu, man. I really wanted to try that card out. Here we go. Skip. Another freaking Kunitz. Can... Calgary Flames. Robin Lehner. Another primetime collectible. Another Mike Hoffman. Which I really don't need. Matt Martin. Damon Saverson. Ugh, still no flashback collectible. Come on, game. All I want is a nice little shiny purple and bluish collectible. Jacob Voracek is not what I'm looking for, though, but he's a rare player, so obviously... Okay, catch you ready. Appreciate that. I appreciate these good player pulls, but I want the collectibles. Come on, give me a flashback collectible. Just one more. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's not the one I was looking for. JVR is not what I'm looking for. Ugh. Alright, guys, here we go. Our last gold plus pack. You know what? Tactics does a little up and down motion like there. Let's see what we get. Here we go, our last pack. One more chance to get a flashback collectible. If not, I'm gonna have to go out there and buy it myself in order to get that Koivu. But those jer those arenas are not looking good to start. I'd rather get the collectibles than the arenas. Brian Little, Vander Kane. There's those hot tips. Chris Russell, uh, Jacob Slavin. It's not looking good, boys. All right, so let's do a little bit of price checking here, shall we? I definitely, definitely need to see how much these guys are going for on the market as of right now. Scott Niedermeyer, legend Scotty needs. How much is he going for on the marketplace right now? If I wanted to sell him, he's going for around looks like a buck seventy right now, which is not too bad for Scott Niedermeyer to say the least. Um, it's not bad for a legend. I might end up keeping him though, because like I said, he was such a cheat code for me last year on defense. He was so good. His milestone card was uh, literally amazing for me to use. That like 98 overall milestone was so, so good. And then I upgraded him to the, like the 99 set, but I really enjoyed Scott Niemeyer last year. He's a bomb of a left-handed shot for, de for defense. So I'll definitely consider keeping him, but I might actually just want to outright sell him to, you know, get some coins to hopefully continue to do some hero sets and grind out some other sets as well but then we also pulled the Connor McDavid and I just realized that McDavid has a team of the week out as well and we pulled the base McDavid so that we pulled two cards pretty much where we could have gotten the upgraded version we could have had the team of the week McDavid but we pulled the base one we could have had the evolution Wierenski but we pulled the base one do I like that rule not really <laughs> That's just my prerogative. Anyway, the base McDavid though is still going for a hunky 140k looks like. Yeah, that thing, that base McDavid's still going for around 140k, which I will be gladly to take 
So we got around 200, actually 300k in two cards. So I can go above 1 mil if I so choose. But damn, dude. McDavid, a legend, and Crosby. Three amazing pulls in back to back videos. What can I say, man? Crazy, crazy luck. And then obviously, I can do the set for this uh, Saku Koivu as well. So that's fun. I only need to buy one collectible. Shouldn't be any trouble at all. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as always. The pack luck is here, guys. The pack luck is here. And it's not going anywhere. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.